Hi everyone, Sheriar from Madrona Labs here. Today I'm sharing a process I use to build drones in Kaivo and Altoverb. Kaivo is really fun to work with for building drones and textures. Um, let's dive in. So a technique I use to build sounds in Kaivo is to increase the gate level amount so the audio signal from the granulator can be heard without any keyboard keys being pressed. This lets me adjust the sound without having to trigger it by pressing a key. I have a simple reverb dialed in here with Altoverb. Um, so first off, I'm going to set the granulator to something slightly more interesting than a sine wave, but still simple enough for this tutorial. For this example, I'm going to use four harmonics as the granulator source, uh, but feel free to experiment with other sounds. That's where the fun is, um, mess around with things. Let's dial the rate setting in so that we get a slower playtime for our waveforms. And let's drop the pitch by an octave while we're here. I'm going to drag cables from the LFO's X and Y settings to the granulator X and Y inputs. The LFO will then begin modulating the play positions in the granulator. Or Harmonix has four different waveforms down here that we're going to use uh, Kaibo's LFO to cycle through on an X and Y axis. Next, I'm going to move over to the resonator module and cut the dry signal from the granulator and open up the wet signal. So basically, we're hearing the resonator's effect on the sound now without any dry signal. Let's set our resonator to nylon string. But remember to mess around and have fun with uh, other settings as well. Uh, so you, you can now hear the effect of the nylon string resonator on our sound. It sounds more resonant and rounded um, in its tone overall. Now let's repeat the process for our body module by turning down the dry signal and turning up the wet signal. And uh, while we're here, let's set the body to frame drum and see what we get. Be sure to experiment with different LFO shapes. I really love the infinity LFO shape because it's fun to listen carefully and hear the effect of the shape on the sound. Try to follow the workflow I just outlined with different sounds and different settings and you'll be surprised at the different outcomes you can end up at. There are lots of cool sounds waiting to be discovered. 